Howdy, it's Fern Bark, and today we're going to go over the new Milwaukee uh, 475 lumen hard hat uh, headlamp kit. Let's take a closer Inside look. Inside this package, you're going to get uh, four clips to hold the strap to your hard hat, the lamp, of course, the strap, and then this uh, power cable. The lamp has two buttons on top. Uh, the one right here is the mode button, and that lets you cycle through all the different uh, lamp options, and then the this one right here is just to power on and off. So if you hit the power on, you can hit the mode button, and there's basically, I want to say five modes. You have the spot, the spot with the uh, flood, and then uh, the flood is, has three different levels, and then you go back to the spotlight. Now one thing that's really nice about this lamp, and this is going to uh, turn into be more of a standard feature on a lot of the Milwaukee lights, is when you turn the uh, power button on and off it will stay at whatever mode you left it on when you turned it off which is handy uh, some lights make you cycle all the way through uh, to get back to the mode that you want so uh, I really like that feature a lot and then on the bottom side you have your USB connector and uh, also a power indicator light and I'm just going to turn the power on here real quick to uh, get that to turn on so what you see right there is uh well it was orange for a second and uh so i'm about halfway through my power there's green orange and then red and flashing red to let you know what uh, state your charge is at and just a couple of quick things uh you're going to be tempted to look at this light when you turn it on for the first time and even though i'm going to tell you not to do it you'll probably do it anyways anyhow you will see dots for a long time this thing is ridiculously bright the other thing is uh the battery is going to probably show up in a uh, very discharged state and one of the features a lot of the Milwaukee lights have is when the lamp is or when the battery is low and one needs to be recharged it will flash so right away when you put the turn this on when you get it it flashes which is a little bit confusing at first and then I remembered that's a feature of Milwaukee lamps is when the battery gets low it flashes on the back side of the lamp uh, there's just a simple uh, button right here that lets you open up and inside you have your red lithium battery which appears to be uh, this is something that you can't just buy anywhere this is a Milwaukee only kind of item uh, what's kind of nice is you can actually buy extras of these so if you're going to be out there and, and using this a lot you could have a couple charged up and ready to go and actually if you had two that's probably enough because uh, it charges up more quickly than it will discharge even on the highest power consumption rate so uh, two of those are going to pretty much get you done this unit has an IPX rating of uh, 5 4 which is going to meet which means it's going to be basically water resistant to spray and dust uh, you cannot submerge this light it does have it's a little hard to see whoops but there's a rubber gasket right here that goes all the way around and then the lid has a ridge in it so when you close it tight that ridge is going to press into the gasket and seal it pretty decently. Part has a piece of rubber right here. So you have the hard plastic on this edge and then there's a piece of rubber right here. I've been using this just against my forehead and not on a hard hat. It's pretty comfortable. It's a little heavy. Uh, it is a big light. But I have to say, after having used a bunch of like really crappy headlamps, this thing is something else. This is definitely the best headlamp I've ever used. The field of view on it is fantastic. Anyhow, this is what I'll it looks you. like on on my head. So not winning any beauty contest with this guy, but uh, it's really more about function and not about looks. And uh, it's the God. I can't get over how good this thing works. Now it does have the ability. Uh, you can change the angle of it. There's several positions that it can snap into, and you can go all the way straight down uh, to straight up. So whatever you need in between there it's pretty uh, versatile okay I'm about 10 feet away from the uh, wall over there maybe 12 even and I'm just gonna cycle through the modes you can see I got a little daylight coming through the window but it's it should still brighten up quite a bit yeah so that's the spot that spot and flood and you can see how wide the uh, field of view on this is That's just the flood high flood medium flood low 
The Flood Low, uh, it's supposed to last 33 hours and it's pretty much okay for walking around and seeing where you're going, but it's not really bright enough to do any actual work with. And then it goes back to spot. I did some runtime test on it. According to the package, spot and flood is supposed, when you run to have those on together, it's supposed to run for two hours. Uh, I observed <clears throat> at an hour and 53 minutes, it flashed at me to let me know the warning, it, the battery was low, and then it finally shut off at 2 hours and 24 minutes. The uh, flood high, medium, and low, flood high is supposed to last 4.5 hours. Um, I got 3 hours and 20 minutes when it flashed at me, and then it shut off at 4.15, uh, which is a little bit, about 15 minutes short of what they're saying it's supposed to. And uh, let's see here. Flood medium is supposed to last 8.5 hours. Once again, it flashed at 8.09 and it shut off at 8.15, so a little bit short of the rated runtime. And then, uh, let's see here. Now the spot high, which is just the uh, center beam by itself, is supposed to last four hours. I ran it the first time and it flashed uh, the low warning light at three hours and eight minutes and then it turned off at 3.52, which is once again short of the rated runtime. So I thought that might have been a mistake because that was actually the first test I ran. I did it again and it flashed at 3 hours and then turned off at 3 hours and 20 minutes which is a full uh, 40 minutes short of its rated time. So it's kind of weird uh, because typically the Milwaukee products, every flashlight that I've ever tested has exceeded the parameters and this one does not. So uh, kind of a bummer there. Um, doesn't make me like the light any less because I don't really wear it on my head for that length of time. Uh, and the fact that it performs so well uh, outweighs the fact that it doesn't run the full four hours that they say it's supposed to. But nonetheless, a bit of a ding on, on the product there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hold the lamp a little closer. I'm going to hold it right up on my tools here. Um, and at a range it would probably wear it at, which would be about an arm's length, just to get let you see what the uh, it's going to look like if you were working with your hands and wanted to see what it looked like. So this is me right here. Let me go ahead and turn it on. So right now that's just the spotlight. That's spot and flood, and that really gives you the best uh, view. There's probably about four, maybe five feet width of actual workable light that you could use to uh, work with. That's flood medium. I, don't know, I think that's flood high, um, which is pretty good. Uh, this is probably flood high and spot and flood together are the two that you're going to pretty much use all the time. When you get into medium, uh, the camera probably makes it look brighter than it is, but right here it's a little dim. If you were doing some fine work, like you're trying to use a screwdriver or, or you're doing any kind of wiring and you're trying to thread something, um, just not quite bright enough. Though the color on all these modes is fantastic. Uh, that's low. Once again, if you're walking around in the woods, probably good for that if you need a real long time. And then we'll go back to uh, spot. Here's another lighting example. I'm in my camper and the headlamp is now on the low setting. And I'm going to uh, hit the mode button and it's going to switch to the uh, spotlight. You can see how bright it is in here. And this is a uh, camper's like 12 feet long. I'm at the front end. Now that's the uh, spot and the floods together. Flood on high, medium, and back to low. And now this is the review of the Milwaukee uh, hard hat. Headlamp and uh, hope it helped you out. Thanks for watching.